Hi everyone, welcome to the new streaming event of the Rupununi Music and Arts Festival. I'm Sandra Nagy, volunteer and member of the crew, and I'm delighted to present this event from the beautiful nature of Lyon in France. As you see, it's pretty cold here, but it's not going to last as we're going to share with you the warm and sunny vibes from the Caribbean. If I say Mighty Gabby, Martha Newton, Philip Nenton, it might ring you a bell. If not, no worries, you'll discover music, spoken words, uh, and performances from artists St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and more. So stay with us and enjoy the show. Now where I live in next door, 
seem to be here. No power. One gone. One gone. Well, the power of life. edition of our virtual series of festivals, the Rupununi Music and Arts Festivals. The same as Caribbean Vibes. We, we look and back at all of our favorite Caribbean performers. And well, you know, Guyana, although it's part of South America, 
the Caribbean culture is a big part of who we are. We like dance, we like, we like, we like it and them kind of thing, you know? So, we can't have a festival without Caribbean vibes. Dennis, what's like your favorite Caribbean performer over the years? Well, one of my favorite performer, well, can't say for over the years, but especially with the music and art festival, was the Mighty Gabe because I think he's really, uh, he really put a lot of energy in his performance. And when he was at Rockview, I think it was 2015, he really performed when he came on and he was doing the, the government boots. Everybody was just marching and everybody was, and I was even a part of it. So you could see why it won my favorite artist because I was really into it. I was really enjoying it. And I had a beer in my hand and the night, <laughs> I just enjoy it. Mighty Gabi, well check out this clip of Dennis dancing to boots by Mighty Gabi and then enjoy a performance by the Mighty Gabi. Ah, you're songing good, you're songing good. Is it necessary to shine soldier boots with tax bears money? No, what is it? No, no, no. And he buying books to cover so that I see them books, books, books and more books. And if he's a young, drink a happy recruit, I see them books, 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 books and more books. They march and train the army troops. Tell them I say, that what they do, we got to see. But me and you, and most of all, Yes. 
The song ain't good. Can you afford to remain passive? While that soldier army growing so massive as it is. They could hardly run, but they shoot in close eye with automatic guns. Got rid of them boots, 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 and more boots. And the figure of young trigger happy recruits. I see them boots, 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 and more boots. Marching threatening army troops. Tell them I say that what they do, we got to see of me and you. I must have all. Okay, my name is Dennis. I'm a tour guide in Guyana. I'm also a part of the Rupununi Music and Art Festival team. We've been in a lockdown so long. We miss the interior. There's so much to see and there's so much of things that happening you could go on so much adventures boarding fishing you could go in the nights you could might even be lucky to see the jaguar stay tuned for more guys thank you so much for having me here i'd just like to thank mr bob Ramadan for having me here so good to be here and also i just want to say a special thank you to my primary school teacher. <laughs> He's in the house in that bus. He came to San Jose a couple of years ago. I won't tell you how long ago that was. And he set a good path for me. And uh, I've been on the street on narrow from ever since. <laughs> Mr. Michael Joseph. All right, give it up for him, yeah? All right. Teach the 
children that have seen it and always but this song Oh yeah, we need love in this world. Thank you so much. Yeah, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, All right so, so this poem I'm gonna do is about love, but just follow any theme, but coming from a training angle, right? How many of y'all love Trinidad and Tobago? Yeah? And how many of y'all know the food and the, the different things from Trinidad and Tobago? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. But yeah, so just give me your support. Last night I was supposed to come up, but the current just black out. So yeah, so there we go. too abstract. It's too hard to extract an exact meaning as to what love is. So I enact an attack on ignorance to impact the knowledge as to what love is. But don't call me no love whiz. I had my heart broken already. Plus, I might probably fail a regular love quiz. But at least I have irregular metaphors for describing what love is. Because if love was a dog, the way I see love wouldn't be a pit bull or a pedigree pet, but a poor Homeless potter or a stray dog in, in, in Guyana, right? If love was a dog, love would be a potter. Out on the street, nose to the ground, searching desperately for a heart to belong. Often rejected at it, big stones have often been projected, but still manage to survive and be strong. Because true love often comes under attack like a persecuted potter. But true love is like the potter that keep coming back to dig up in your garbage even after you beat it and you run it. It is incredibly persistent and incredibly strong. And true love do despise like a potong do despise with a red, white or black piece of meat that fall on the ground. And as a potong can be mixed with many things and anything, love is mixed with many things and anything. A bit of patience crossbreed with a random smile at a stranger on a morning. Neighbor, good morning. A bit of charity crossbreed with you be there for me when I'm mourning. We see homeless potongs and stray dogs every morning. So tomorrow morning, if you see a potong by your gate because your potong in heat is calling, remember that that is love on four legs, so don't resist it. I'm not saying go and get bite from trying to hug it or kiss it, but at least share a piece of dry biscuit with it. And as we're talking about biscuits, if love was a biscuit to eat in Trinidad, it would be cricks. Because it is my vital supply when I put it in my soul, my hunger fixed. And in hard times, you only love, like in hard times, you only need cricks. And oftentimes, because crick's so dry, we all need a drink in the mix. And if love were a drink, love would be government juice, H2O, our hope to overcome, aka water. Yeah, love good for your mother, brother, sister, cousin, enemy, friend, and daughter. And you ought to have eight glasses a day. One glass is insufficient for your health to be okay, validating the research that says that human beings are happy and healthy if they feel love every day. And get more than one hug every day. So drink your eight glasses of love every day. Love is like water in every way because love is necessary for life to survive and for every living thing to remain alive. Because how can anything be alive? If hate was all that existed, I mean, Holocaust and genocide would obliterate us in a world so twisted.
twisted. And it's not that I have it twisted. I know that even in our world with love, us within us as Caribbean and Latin American people has always persisted. And that is why if love had to be a car in Trinidad, it would be a Nissan B14. Because if I love, even if it be 14 times, between my next 14 lines that 14 friends hurt me, it will be 14 times that I declare that I forgive thee, vice versa, love. Let it be 14 times that you forgive me. Because honestly, on this road, neither one of us can carry the weight of our own sins, our own load. So for love's sake, forgiveness better be coming like a B14 on the road. That brings me to the vendor, the side of the road. More specifically, his product. Because I deduct that if love was something to eat in Trinidad, it would be doubles. I'm not saying love is cheap, but anybody could afford to love even if they're going through financial troubles. And love is for everybody, the same way doubles is for everybody, to the, from the rich, to the vegan, to the humble. Actually, love does not boast, so love in itself is essentially humble. And if love was an ingredient in that doubles, love would be the pepper. Because love is just that flavor that makes everything in life taste better. Love pepper might probably bring tears to your eyes and snap to your nose because love is emotional. And those emotional moments, love is unafraid to disclose it. Love for a garment, love will be my frequently curry stained clothes that though imperfect still keep me cold still keep me cold in a still keep me warm in a cold world where my life I disclose and as this discourse on correlated products flows if love was part of a roti in Trinari's wrap up the roti right it would be the roti skin that warm something that everything else good is wrapped in because when you're in love your entire being feels wrapped in like the chicken the china the mango the potato that the roti skin wraps and traps in love would have to be the roti skin because the roti skin is what has hold the entire roti together and love is the only thing that genuinely holds us as a people together if love was something to discuss among us as we are gathered here together love would be the government because love does really 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 frustrate you at times if love was something right now as i spit these rhymes love would be this microphone allowing artists voices to project and connect and positively affect lives that they've barely even known in ways to you that are barely even known and perhaps this poetry piece is barely even known to you because although i perform it before you never hear it before so it come across as new but if love was a part of this poetry piece it won't be this piece at the end, but the piece that don't end. Because when you're in love, Jed, just wish it don't end. So as I end, may these words continue to play and in your heart stay. Every time you run a pot on, eat prick, shrink water, even what doubles get burned by pepper, bust on a roti, use a microphone, or hear this poetry piece again. Remember to love. And let me build our country. Thanks. Big, big tune, big. Yeah, yeah.
again and uh, you know I mean we've always enjoyed the festival because we started it as our thing um, but we like we want other people to experience what we experience so we try to spread it across as far as we could get it and, and it's really catching and it's really a nice festival it's different than you will see around in George some other places so you, you should come and you know I mean when the time is right to come and have an experience at the Rupununi Music and Art Festival so Gavin what is one of your favorite times of the festival? Well, with our Caribbean performers and his Caribbean vibes, um, you know, we had we had some amazing Caribbean talent over the years and at our different locations, at Rockview Lodge, at Manari Ranch. But one of my favorite Caribbean performers was Marva Newton and her group, Kairi Kaiso. And, um, you know, she's from Trinidad. And me getting into folk music and learning about our musical traditions here in Guyana and how it's overlap and and I uh, got a role to play in Caribbean folk music as well. It was nice to see Marva come here from Trinidad. And uh, uh, it's like, give you a history lesson. Give you a history lesson in Kaiso, in, in, in Calypso, in Extempo. So I really, I really enjoyed Marva's performance because as a, as a young musician myself, it was nice to hear them old classics and the real true Caribbean art form of, of music. So um enjoy some Kairi Kaiso from Marvel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Kairi Kaiso. We're from TNT. This is James Hanson showing him some love. Then you have a contest now, but that's alright. We're here to have some fun. My name is Marvin Newton and it's all about Kaiso. Woo! So you're going to learn something. Thank you. 
So I took her along to a restaurant to give her a little treat. She told me she wasn't hungry, but just listen to the thing she eat. She get four plates of rice, she called for that twice. The rose pork and ice fish stew. A bowl of meta chi with quakwari curry and a nice little dish of cuckoo. Six bread fruits with cassava to boot. Her appetite was immense. But when she called for some more, I fall on the floor cause I only had She started to play big, big. I asked her what she would like to drink. And she said, Billy boy, you treat me so nice that I hardly know what to think. And knowing our days that the time's so hard, and you ain't working no way. I don't want to put you in too much expense, cause you might have enough to pay. So she only drank three quarts of rum. Before a ton of rum, she emptied 12 glasses of gin. Along with whiskey, brandy, ale, pear and stout I can't tell you what the woman put it in Lemonade, Pepsi, Cokes and the wine Her guts was just like a trench But when she called for some more I fall on the floor Cause I only had how much? All you could sing, all you people could sing Nice, ay, 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 ay Hey, 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 hey Well, I took her into a restaurant to eat up some Chinese dish. She ate chow fong long, dog long long, with six bowls of flying fish. She ate 12 pieces with papai chicken and a black label to wash it down. At first she wasn't hungry, but for eating she won the crumb. She eat chicken fried rice, KFC, roast up bakes up with Curry roti, and those kalalua get the woman decks out and all. She eat, she drink, she call back for more. Her appetite was immense. But when she called for ten plates, the hair stand up straight and the only had fifty cents. And well, here what gonna happen now. Hey. Oh, na 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 na. To finish up with this delicate girl, she cleaned out an ice cream can and she said, Billy boy, I can talk about you for you're really a nice young man. And the next time we're going on a spree like this, I will bring my whole family around. Next up, baby barman, the 15 cents, all you listen to what was done. Now we bust up the nose, we tear on the clothes, the ice me and sweep the floor. My mouth was a size, my ears and my eyes, then he kicked me clean through the door. He lift me by my coat, pulled me by my throat, and dashed me over the fence. And he said, another night you wanna get up so light, if you only bring 15 cents. So that was my story, ladies and gentlemen, of a lady who like it. I ain't got enough money. Ay, 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 ay. Hey, yeah, DJ. Hey. Pull it up, DJ. Well, the festival is an amazing opportunity for us <clears throat> to incorporate culture, the richness of our culture, the richness of our music and our art into the tourism product itself. This by itself is an educational experience. For long we have spoken about the, uh, the beauty of our culture, the competitive advantage of our culture in relation to tourism. And we have been working with the Ministry of Education to develop a program that would incorporate tourism as a mainstream, uh, a mainstream aspect of the curriculum. Because if you're to develop the tourism industry, the tourism market, then tourism has to become an integral part of the uh, educational curricula. Guyana is also a part of UNISOR, 
and uh, this festival which brings together Latin America, the Caribbean, Guyana and North America exposes our children, young people and our people generally to the melting pot of culture, of music, of art and that by itself is an, ec uh, educational, uh, uh, an ed educational journey. For me, it was very educating last night uh, listening to the different music, the different dialect and, uh, and just chatting with the many persons who came to the festival. So from an educational perspective, it is good for tourism, it is good for the promotion of culture, and very good for our arts and, uh, our arts and so on. From a strictly uh, tourism perspective, this festival, I think, has really carved out uh, a, a niche for itself, and this is going to grow into a tremendous product. I think that this festival is different from the Jazz Festival, it's different from the uh, Trinidad Music Festival because it targets music at the core, music uh, that is more naturally oriented. And the environment that was selected to host it blended very beautifully with the music. It's music that demonstrates culture of people, beliefs of people, and traditions of people. And that is what makes it a distinctive product and a different product. So I think that this uh, festival has a tremendous uh, future and definitely the government is going to work on developing in an even bigger way. Et oui, je suis là, mais ne vous inquiétez pas, ce n'est pas terminé. C'est juste une petite interlude. J'espère que vous appréciez ce que vous avez vu pour le moment et restez avec nous pour la suite. À tout de suite. I'm going to do with this all. We come across the Caribbean Sea for the father picnic and we settle down in GT. Why, oh, we bend down on the coastal plain in the hot sun and pouring rain and we planted the rice and cane. Why, oh, yes, we take off the boots. Put on with roots, why oh? So the crab would not grow in a sick river, is we old. And the sick shagak be in the sacking key, is we old. And the lava that run from the fire gun, is we old. And I'm a wall of a post, and the corals in the post, is we old. A rap by one, black wash pole that. The human Ayana is we own. Same to vine is we own. Masquerade wine is we own. The human Ayana is we own. We know Pagua and Comfortance, and we know how to wine and France. Why, oh, and then we said the great Diwali, and then we sent from Marshall Money. It's party, party, party. Why, oh, yes, we know how to cut the way under the wet. Why, oh, so the crab would not grow in a city, boys, we oh. Six are at me and the sake winky, we own. And the 
slapper that run from the fire gun is real. And all of them are all of a boss of the quarantine force is real. A rap is real. Black bush polar is real. Human Ayana is real. Shuli Benab is real. Wondery Crab is real. Human Ayana is real. Sugar cake and salt fish and bake is we own. Mutton curry and two polari is we own. Marby a nice black pudding and rice is we own. Coconut metachi and we 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 is we own. Babola the chan with the kurta in the hand is we own. Alexander Mini and the blue dashiki is we own. Frankie Minis and the Boom Boom Cheese is real. All right, all right, all right. Our next one is, let me ask you again. Put up your hand in the crowd. Who know what is Boom Boom Cheese? Put up your hand. Six people. Boom Boom Cheese, for the, you see, this is history. Boom Boom Cheese is the thing that the Portuguese people bring. I had nothing to do with it. Portuguese people bring it here years ago. And Vum Vum cheese is the stinkest smelling cheese God ever make. I think they call it Limburg. I mean, it stinks, stinks, stinks. Let me tell you how stink Vum Vum cheese is. They had a cake shop in, in uh, Main Street. Farage. Who remember that? Two people, you see? I show him age here. Farage had a cake shop. He used to sell all kind of thing. He had a showcase in front of Salaro. Coconut bun, I think. And right at the end, so he had boom boom cheese. And you know, I mean, we got face facts, right? It's Guyana. The cake shop had one or two flies. You know, you can't run around from there. There used to be flies in the Guyana cake shop. All in the case, where you see at the end there with the boom boom cheese there? <laughs> Not a fly. Two or three fly, you see there, they fall up on the ground, dead to us from the boom boom cheese. So that is your history. Now it ain't there here no more, you know. And I, I said, thank God, because it smells bad in truth. But that is to show, to show you the history of some of these things. When you're saying this, we own, you got to claim the good stuff, and you got to claim boom boom cheese, right? Okay. So we're we going back. Frank Kimini's and the boom boom cheese is real. And the lawyer in town named Lee Funky Fung is real. And the fellas in the tree watching cricket for free is real. The brothers in the night preaching Jordan night is real. And Mary and Paul up on the sea wall is real. And the girl foot fine but Lord she behind is real. Is we own black bush folder is we own the human Diana is we own a bad nap in us is we own my finger juice is we own the human Diana is we own Mara Pima is we own black bush folder is we own the human Diana.
with this virtual music festival that's on right now we hope that you're inviting other people and you just don't be selfish and enjoy it yourself spread the road around so you'll have more followers please we're asking you to you know come with us join us and have such a wonderful and, and may you continue looking so this is the last piece for my set for this, for this first session a lot of, I want to tell you a story. A lot of islands in the Caribbean have close links with Cuba. And the Cubans have very generously allowed people to go. They send an airplane for them, pick them up to go and get their eye operations. And um, so, and they, they take people who cannot afford it, who have never traveled before. And so, this, was, this is some official advice when you're going to Cuba for your operations. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? The time has come to travel for those eye operations. They have been donated kindly by the government and people of Cuba. Now we are waiting in the airport lounge for the airplane to take you to Cuba. I have to give you a few tips. Listen carefully, they will make your stay go smoothly. For many of you this is the first time you are leaving your home to go to another country. Cuba is a big country, much bigger than St. Vincent. The hospital where you're going is a big place. If you wander around it, you will get lost. They don't speak English in Cuba, so don't give the doctors and nurses any long story in English. They won't understand you. The food is different from what you're accustomed to eat. You are a guest in their country and you can't get ground provisions. You will have to eat what they give you. If you dash with the food, you won't get any more. After your operation, you'll have bandages around your head and over your eyes. Don't pull them off. It's their job to do that. Our next thing is manners. The swimming pool in the hospital compound is not for you. Don't go and jump in it. Now, the Cuban people are a very friendly people. When they speak to one another, they like to touch each other. Sometimes they give you a hug. It don't mean nothing more than that. Lastly, let me speak plain. To you men especially, if the nurses then hold your hand or hug you, it don't mean they want to have sex with you. When you start to feel better, don't molest them when they're going about their work. Remember you are ambassadors for your country and therefore you are representing your nation. If you get desperate and excited, do the right thing. Go to the bathroom and relieve yourself. So we're here with the mighty Gabi at the Rupununi Music and Arts Festival, Georgetown Connection. The mighty Gabi is no stranger to the festival. He was here for the second edition. He's here again. He's a nine-time Calypso Monarch winner and the youngest ever in Barbados. At the age of 19, he won his first title. Yeah, yeah. a long time ago. A long time ago, <laughs> back, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Gabi, how are you doing? And, and so glad to have you back. Um, why, why you come back? You love the festival, no? You love, the, you love Guyana. Gabi. I love Guyana. I tell people all the time. If there's one Caribbean country, I feel totally at home. Outside of Barbados, it would be Guyana. I like the people, I like the food, I like how the place looks. I just love this country. I love the vastness of it, I love the rivers, I love everything about Guyana. But that's so cool, man. I know it's, it's such a pleasure to be interviewing such a legend in, 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 in Caribbean culture. So that's real cool. Plus, I get to play on your guitar. Yeah. Plus, we share a stage. Oh, yes, man. <laughs> share the album but, together. Yeah, man. I would love that. And of course, you have worked with, with Guyanese icon Eddie Grant. Oh, Eddie Grant is my buddy, he is my friend, he is my mentor, advisor. Eddie Grant is so much things to me, you know what I mean? Like, Eddie is the one that really took my music up. Like, I mean, I was always there, but like, when Eddie began to record my music, then people began to hear the quality, you know, of the music. So, like, I can't pay back a man. Like, he'll never be able to repay him, you know? Like, anytime, anytime I... just I, love him dearly. Like, like, anytime I put on a pair of boots, I remember the yeah. mighty Gabby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, All those songs Eddie did. Jack, Boots, Hit It. Yeah. Dr. Cassandra, Wayne Force, yeah. Emerton, Bridgetown, you name it. Yeah. And all of my recordings um, after Eddie moved to Barbados was that bad. So tell us a bit about how you got, how you first got involved in the Rupununi Music and Arts Festival. Well, that was true. 
Bob. And Danny just called me one day and asked me if I'd be interested. And uh, to me, that's like asking Muhammad Ali to say a few words. Because I mean, it is like, yes, automatically. I like, always wanted to go in the interior and, and Rupa Nuni. And, and be, I've been in, in uh, the interior before. But not such a long this all up to, and I, you know, I had to take plane to get there. But you know, it was such a wonderful experience to be with the Am Amerindian people and, and you know, seeing them living in their own environment and it was beautiful. You know. yeah, and and um, you had everybody dancing. You were <laughs> still the show in the Rupununi. So well, I mean, young performers yet for the night. Not yet. But not I can yet. imagine what gonna happen. Yeah, yeah boy. I believe that the response is going to be good because it's my first time ever performing in Georgetown. Oh, okay, I've never okay. performed History in Georgetown. History being made at the festival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. never performed in Georgetown. I've always come here on vacation. Ah. I've come here and I've go all over the country or see my friends and you know things like that. But to actually perform in Georgetown, this is an honor. All right, cool. Reason. Well, we're here with the Mighty Gabi at the Rupununi Music and Arts Festival, Georgetown Connection. Mighty Gabi, thanks for the chat. And we're going we're to rock the stage later. Hey, man. Thank you, cool. joining us on this virtual edition. Dennis and I just want to remember, we're still on lockdown. We got to look after each other. We got to take care of each other. We still wear we masks. Remember to wear your mask to keep social distancing and to practice safety during these times. Yeah, it's so important, especially if you're young, your resistance might be higher, but remember the old folks at home. So please stay safe, protect yourself, not only with yourself, but think about your loved one, the elderly ones that you could put in jeopardy. So wear your mask, do social distancing, and practice washing your hands, especially if you go anywhere and get home. Wash your hands, change your clothes, and keep the old ones safe. And you stay safe too, so that you could come to Guyana next year for the Rupununi Music and Arts Festival in person. Roger and that. <laughs>
inquiétez pas, nous sommes de retour le 20 juin avec des petites vibes de l'Amérique du Sud. Et oui, Colombie, Venezuela, Brésil, mmh, on a hâte. En tout cas, restez avec nous sur YouTube et Facebook, arrobas Festival. Si vous voulez en savoir plus, www.roupounounifestival.com. Maintenant, il est temps pour moi d'aller prendre une petite boisson chaude et de me mettre au chaud. Donc, je vous dis à bientôt. De gros bisous. À plus.